powerful people behind Newt Gingrich as a candidate, pushing him, and he uh, sprung out of nowhere. You know, uh, early on in the campaign, he had staffers leaving, saying, you know, he doesn't communicate well. He, we don't think he's taking this seriously. Uh, he, he took a vacation and, you know, so on and so forth and, and dropped off and left him. And a lot of people are saying his candidate candidacy was in disarray, you know, and, and should anybody take him serious? But uh, here we are, going to be hitting the first primary, and it looks like he's going to take Iowa and possibly even New Hampshire. And once that snowball starts rolling down the hill in these primaries, it's hard to stop, isn't it? Well, it, it is hard to stop because you you have uh, Iowa that's basically a very conservative state mm -hmm. uh, that would listen to what Fox Network tells them uh, and, and what Christian evangelicals uh, believe. Uh, and so, you know, keep in mind, Huckabee won Iowa last time. Yeah. Huckabee was about nine points ahead and, and took Iowa and surprised everybody, shocked everybody. Uh, so, and that was because Huckabee, you know, was uh, uh, evangelical and all pro-life and the whole, uh, uh, you know, the whole thing. Now, now that Newt Gingrich is being put together, believe it or not, as the evangelical candidate, uh -huh. Because Pat Robertson supports him. Pat Robertson has said he'd make a great president. Oh. So 700 club people. Uh, he was on the, uh, right before he retired, the James Dobson Focus on the Family uh, show. Uh, and now the, the Catholic Church. Uh, and he's, he's flip-flopped. He's, he's done a more masterful job. But the media has allowed him. Uh, well, in any case, I think you're right. But for, as far as the elite goes. Yes. I don't think it, as, as you well said, it doesn't really matter whether Newt Gingrich gets in or Obama. I think Newt yeah. Gingrich might be of more value to them because he's, uh, Obama may be crafty and all that and a very good orator, mm -hmm. but Gingrich is, I, I think, more uh, valuable to them in terms of promoting the New World Order. I think we'll move very fast into the New World Order especially because many Democrats are already for world love and peace and harmony and all these things. And Gingrich then will have the, the, uh, the Republicans uh, to deceive. Uh, and the first order of business might indeed be invasion of uh, Iran. Uh, and oil will go up to $250 a barrel and all that. I asked my sister what's going to happen when it goes up to 250 a barrel yeah. after we've invaded <laughs> Iran. and. She yeah. can't quite see that. She doesn't understand how that works, the, the economy, um, how, how that would work. But it will work that way. Yes. And there will be a lot of fortunes made uh, by those people who own the oil futures, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and so forth. And that's where, that's where we're all headed for war and banking profits uh, and really the end of America. And it doesn't matter if Gingrich wins. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Obama. Obama gets reelected. Uh, the think, outcome is still uh, the same. It might be that Gingrich gets the nomination, and all, then only then do people finally find out what he really stands for. I mean, the Republicans, and they might just stay home like they did in the John McCain case. I don't know, but I've seen polls saying that the white people are abandoning uh, Obama. They got excited about him, and they turned out for him, and surprised. But now, and of the, course, now they feel and let then you down. look at the other aspect yeah. now that Hispanics are abandoning Obama, too, because he did nothing for immigration. Law. Bait and switch, yeah. You know. Well, I think Gingrich will do something for them because Gingrich can really promote that among the, uh, the Republicans. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, it, it's a uh, Republican Party very much wants to keep the illegals flowing in. And then the Democrats want to do it, too, for even different reasons in a way. So we're probably going to get uh, more illegal immigration after the election, though, whichever one wins. Well, Gingrich, I don't know which one will push America into a new world order faster. Perhaps Obama would, but I, I'm not sure about that. Gingrich is a pretty crafty new world order uh, guy. Yeah, he seems.